Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. How did you find out about this place? Did you not know it's beautiful, affordable, and the second safest city in all of Texas? Oh, you didn't know that? Well, I'm sure there's plenty more you missed out then anyways. Welcome to Fulcher. Seriously though, how did you get here? Now that you have witnessed my Oscar-worthy performance, welcome to Fulcher Lakes. This is a really great up and coming master plan community. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know everything you need to know. So if you're considering moving to the Houston area, get in touch with me, contact information down below. We're gonna go over the builders, the school district, the area, why should you even consider moving to Fulcher and some other fun facts that you need to know. So we're gonna walk through a lot of the model homes today. We're gonna go over some of the price points, the property tax. And even by the end of this, I'm going to give you what it actually costs to move into a house here. That's right. We're gonna actually include the property tax. We're gonna go over the sales price. We're gonna look at an inventory home that is for sale right now and then kind of tell you about some of the incentives and whatnot. So be sure to stick around for all that. There's gonna be little timestamps down below in the description if you wanna bounce around and whatnot. Whether you're coming back to this video and you wanna remember where things are, do take note of that or look in the description for the timestamps down below. Again, my name is Isaac Rose, your Houston real estate agent. I'd love to represent you. Reach out to me if you're interested in moving here to start your journey and your home moving consultation today. So without further ado, let's go. All right, so if you're considering moving to Fulcher Lakes, this community specifically, here's what you need to know. Price point wise, property tax wise, if you're not familiar with the Houston area, Texas in general, because we have no income tax, that where we make up for it is in our property tax, sadly. And this can contribute to a very high amount of your monthly payment. So the property tax range can be from typically about the low 3%. You see on a lot of listings actively for sale, it's about 3.28. Of course, this will change over time. And if this is your primary residence, you should definitely file for homestead exemption, which will knock your property taxes down as of the time of recording this of 20% for your primary residence. Price point wise, we have some great affordable options from the high $200,000 all the way to the low $300,000 without even using any of the builder's incentives. It's 2024. We're in May right now. Interest rates are high. The feds just had a meeting saying they weren't wanting to lower them. So as of right now, if monthly payment wise and affordability is what is holding you back from purchasing a home, the reason why you work with professionals like me is we try to solve these problems if you're trying to move and how we can help you with that monthly payment. So there's different ways to get creative with it, with rate buy downs, things of that nature. So there's a lot of great incentives here that these builders are offering to make that happen for you. So it's just all about what's trying to make it work for you. So again, that's why you will reach out to someone like me. We can go over some options and how we can help you with affordability. One thing to also note is the HOA in your monthly payment. The HOA is $1,800 a year, but there's a few cool things about this. While it is very high in comparison to other communities, they take care of your front yard. So you will still have to mow the backyard and whatnot, but they do the mulch. They cut your yard about 40 times a year. So typically they don't have to cut it as much during the winter, but they pretty much service your entire front yard with mulching, weeding, all that good stuff. So one kind of cool thing to note, you don't have to worry about that. So right behind me is the Fletcher Morgan Elementary School that is zoned to this community. You also have a junior high school and a high school that it is also zoned to. The school district is Lamar ISD, and this is an A-rated community. There's gonna be information in the description that leads to niche.com and other school review um, website rating apps, I guess you could say, of these communities and how the school district is. So one other thing to note, since Fulcher, I think is a great up and coming area, and there's a lot of potential here and definitely a lot of room for home appreciation, especially as more build out comes to this area in terms of commercial and just housing in general, is that where is everything? So as of right now, your nearest HEB is eight miles away and your nearest Walmart is about six miles away. So all your commercial is down 1093, 
closer to 99 highway as of right now you pretty much have to drive about eight miles worth of 1093 to get to the main i guess um highways to get north south you're very close though here to katy you're about 20 minutes away you're about 40 minutes from downtown you're about another 40 minutes away from cyprus if that is of a commute for you from an investment perspective side a lot of people are considering this like kd 2.0 the school districts are good there's a lot of growth in this area there are so many people who they want to move to kd but they either can't afford it or they have to be out of their way commute time wise so the same amount of time you could spend to be further in the KD, you could just spend to practically be into Fulcher and get the chances of great prospective growth for this area. Right here in front of me, we have Anglia Homes, we have History Maker Homes, we have Smith Douglas Homes, we've got Weston Homes, we got Chesmar Homes over here, and we're soon going to have even Dries Homes. Then also we are going to be seeing Empire Homes and Sittery, and Sittery Homes. I probably butchered the spelling of that. But all these different builders offer different price points. Weston's homes from the $600,000 on up. Anglia homes we see from the $200,000. You typically see a lot in the low $300,000. And again, all these different guys are offering different incentives. So Chessmar homes, we can see a lot from the middle to high $400,000, typically even on the lower $500,000 sides. One thing to know, especially if you're not familiar with the Houston area, is we see so much growth here that we have model homes. So all these builders, they have these built up homes for you to come in, walk in, see their different floor plans, what they offer. It's like a sales office for their uh, sales counselors and they have a ton of inventory homes. So you, if you're looking at a new home, you, that does not mean you have to build it. You could find a home that the builder has already selected the finishes, they've already selected the floor plan, it's already being built and the whole purpose of it is for it to get finished as quick as possible to be resold. So if you're looking for a home and you wanna move say right now to the next six months, they could you could walk floor plans that are already finished and see that this other floor plan is coming up in three to six months from now and if you're like Isaac I don't want to pull the trigger just yet but I love this floor plan I know I want to be here or hey I love this floor plan but what about a different neighborhood what about a different area of Houston so that's why you reach out to me and I will help guide you so those are some quick things to know let's go take a look at some of these beautiful homes right now and see what you can find here in Fulcher Texas
Here is our first inventory home here in Fulcher Lakes. It's four bedrooms, two and a half baths, 1,749 square feet, right across from the school. This is the elementary school right here. Super cool, little very cute street right here, right? This is Anglia Homes' last inventory home as of right now here in May 2024. It's their home of the week, up to all closing costs paid. All in this home is for $334,000. So typically a lot of these builders will pay your closing costs plus some so you can buy down the interest rate. Also means it's less cash to close and allows you to contribute more to your down payment. So this home is actually the same as the model home we walked a little bit earlier, but this is what an actual inventory looks like. So you can kind of get a comparison of what a home for sale versus their model home looks like and then a real price comparison. Last time before, this used to be the sales office, but reality, it's actually a two car garage. Your third bedroom, your utility room right here. Additional closet space and the meat and the potatoes of the home the kitchen and our primary in the back they got little price sheets going on right here and let's take a look at the backyard which is something i typically do not show on model homes because lots can vary the biggest thing about building a new home is your lot premium. When you look and you go to build a new home, you will typically have a base price. This is the basic cost of the floor plan. Not everything is included. There are things that are upgrades. Primary tub, pretty much all the same. Got the same primary closet here. So that is an inventory comparison in comparison to a model home. Again, the timestamps are in the description so you can go back, rewatch the model home portion and then come back to this and be like, okay, this is what I'm getting for $330,000 with the selected lot and everything of that nature. As I stand here in one of the newest sections that will be coming here to Fulcher Lakes, this part not even touched yet. They've already paved out the streets, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in building, you're considering inventory, no matter how far out your journey is to moving to Houston, I'd love to be a part of it. So do reach out to me. I'd love to connect and represent you. If you're looking for more real estate content like this, you wanna see more master plan communities, more builders, more information just pertaining to the real estate market here in Houston in general, be sure to subscribe. It's absolutely free and it helps you stay connected with me. Please leave me a like on this video if you appreciate the value that was added and provided about this area. So all that being said, have a blessed day. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in person.